Lighting is so important if you're a content creator, a podcaster, or even a streamer. And so we'll find out if the Godox ES45 is actually gonna be a good LED light for you. Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to unbox the Godox ES45 LED light. And I'm gonna show you how to install it as well as the things that I like and not like so much about this product. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, let's talk about the box first. Right away, it looks like you have this really big picture of the LED light. And I really like the back of this too because you can see the back of the LED light as well as the remote and nice and simple but it looks really cool. By the way, it feels really heavy so I feel like I'm buying something that's worth it. Okay, so now we're unboxing this thing, right? So I think we have to turn this over like this. And we're gonna cut right here. And we're gonna turn it over just so that we can open it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And the moment of truth, guys. There it is, guys. And so over here, we have the LED panel here. It's nice and thin, as you can see. And over here, we have the uh, brochure, I think for other products that they have. Okay, so when I get them. And over here, we also have the instruction manual. This is the charger. Okay, that's the charger. I think this is the stand right here. So we still have to unbox this too. Okay, there you go. So I open this part here and I think it just easily slides out. Wow, look at that. It's like a lightsaber without the light. I guess it is, it's LED light saber. Ooh you're into Star Wars, you know? And now let's go back to the LED light here. So I'm just gonna remove this plastic here. Wow, this is beautiful guys, look at this. It's nice and shiny. Over here is the control. Um, this is detachable guys, look at that. Isn't that crazy? And I think when you um, need to charge it, you just have to, there are four prongs here, if you can see it, four prongs. And you just easily attach this back to the back. And that's it, it automatically charges. And over here, we have the input for the charger and the on and off button and some controls over here. Let's go ahead and install this. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually just gonna install the stand on my desk here. Um, but I'm actually gonna put my LED light um, behind one of my screens over there. So now I'm just tightening this clamp here to secure it so that it won't move. Then I have this LED lamp. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it right above the screw here and then turn it around clockwise which should secure this light. And once you feel that it's tight, I think it's good to go. And I can just move it around like this. It can go down like this, and it can go up like this. So I think this is fine like this for now. And then I'm gonna get the charger and the power cable. Just connect the two of them together. And I'm gonna insert this part into the DC input. And I have the plug here, which is I'm gonna use to plug it into my outlet here. And then moment of truth. See if this is gonna work. Turning it on. Yes. Now let's talk about the five things I really love about this LED light and maybe one thing that I'm not too sure about. So let's go ahead. Number one. The first thing I like about this LED lamp is that it's super bright. I mean, look at this, it's only at 1%. Now we're gonna change it to 50%. This is 50%, guys. It's already super bright. Now let's change it to 
A hundred percent. This is super, super bright. So brightness, we don't have any problem. Number two, form factor. Compared to the key light I'm using, which is the Godox SL60W, this thing is so much smaller. I mean, look how thin this is. Imagine having this on your desk. This doesn't take away so much space. Number three is so simple to use. You just remove the remote control from the back of the LED panel. And from this small device, you can control this LED light by pressing the power button like so. And with the dim, you can control the brightness and see how bright this can be. And we're looking at 75% right now. And this is 100%. I don't think you're gonna ever use 100%, but it's good to know that it's here. And then with this knob, you can control the temperature. So we're gonna turn it to say the lowest, which is 2800 Kelvin. So as you can see, it's very yellowish. And then we're gonna change that to, let's say the highest which is 6,500 Kelvin. It's super bright. It's very kind of like bluish color right now. So we're gonna turn that back to what I normally use, which is 3,900 or 3,700, like so. And with that, I think this is like the perfect setting for me. And maybe lower down the brightness again to say one or 2%. That's good enough for me. All right, so now with this button, you can control the channels. You can press this and you can go up to, I think 32, yep, 32 channels. And press it again, this changes to A, B, C. Let's say for example, you have multiple LED lights like this, then you can control it with just one device when you configure the channels. The other cool thing about this remote control is that you don't always have to have it on the back of your LED light. You can actually leave it on your desk or maybe put it in your drawer where it's easily accessible to you. So you don't always have to reach for the on and off button just to turn it on. This one, this battery for some reason can actually last for so long. I've been using it for multiple days, even weeks, and I don't really have to charge it all the time. So I like that part. And so number four, the adjustable feature. So this thing, you can just simply adjust it from here and then you can increase the height like so. It goes all the way, it's out of frame right now. It goes all the way up there in case you need it to be tall enough or you can shorten it using these adjustments here. And now with this knob, you can change the direction of your light by just simply turning it. And once you find the right direction or position, you just simply tighten it again and you're good to go. And number five, price. I really like the price of this Godox ES45 because it's even cheaper compared to the Elgato Key Light. Here in Canada, this is around 175 Canadian. In the US, I think it's around 139 US dollars. So now compare that to the Elgato Key Light which is around 250 in Canada or 180 in the US. So for me, you're really saving with a Godox ES45 compared to the Elgato Key Light. But I think it'll be nice to also review the Elgato Key Light in the future. So Elgato, if you ever consider sending me one, I'll definitely consider it. So for the one thing that's been concerning me is the screw here. It looks like it's too short to support the entire weights and structure of this LED panel. And it might be too short and too small, but again, I could be wrong. That's just concerning for me. So, but so far it's been supporting it, no problem. But other than that, I don't really have any problem with this LED panel. Now, would I recommend this if um, you like the brightness, as I mentioned, the form factor, it try and save space compared to the dome light, the ease of use, having that remote control, also the part that you can easily adjust the height and the orientation or the positioning of the panel, and the pricing, which is so much cheaper than the Elgato key light. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you're looking to improve your lighting. So this is the Godox ES45. 
And by the way, watch out for my next video where I'm gonna be unboxing my newest Mac Mini M2 Pro. So make sure you watch it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Uh, no, it's actually gonna help me and my channel if you uh, subscribe because it's gonna help me create more content for um, audience like yourself. And so please make sure to do so. All right, and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Keep creating.